but RM, oh, I'm kicking my feet and I'm giggling. RM is so fine, like. God, what have you done? Hey guys, it's Sharon. Welcome to welcome back to my channel. I feel like you've been bullying me a bit for this video and I'm genuinely so sorry it took me so long. You know, I just got like really caught up with two hurricanes back to back, you know, like just normal everyday thing. But hey, better late than never. So not too long ago, I hopped on my community tab page and I asked you guys, hey besties, tell me your celebrity crush. It's for science and I'm the science. I'm examining your celebrity crushes and I'm ranking them on whether or not they really should be worthy of having a celebrity crush on. So this is gonna be real fun. Let me introduce you to the rankings real quick. So in the green, this is just straight up, just like log off. Do not log back in, please. <laughs> Above that is simply, I'm not seeing the vision. No, it's not there for me. And the middle ground is, okay, you have my attention. My interest has been piqued. I'm listening. Above that is, I'm kicking my feet and I'm giggling like, all right, they're really, really cute. And on top of that, in the red, it is simply, pick me, choose me, love me. Little love of my life would do illegal things, but not actually FBI agent, unless. <laughs> Go grab your snacks, go grab your tea, and please feel free to rank along with me. And now let's get into your celebrity crushes. I'm about to get real judgmental. I'm not even afraid. Actually, I am a little bit because the last time we ranked your fictional crushes, y'all, y'all were weird. Someone said the mailbox from Blue's Clues. Huh? Who? Luckily, these are real people. There's a reason I'm doing real people this time. <laughs> First one is Benson Boone. He is the love of my life. I love that for you, girly. Seven of you agreed. I actually have no idea what Benson Boone looks like. Is this the guy that sings that TikTok song? The, uh, these beautiful things that I, uh, yeah, that's him, right? I'm actually very curious to see what the face behind that voice is. Ow! I, I wasn't aware of your game. I'm listening, literally. <laughs> Billie Eilish, girl, you know I'm kicking my feet and I'm giggling. Like, to be honest, any woman you give me in this list, I'm gonna put her at kicking my feet and giggling, unless she's problematic and should be canceled because girls support girls. We're all baddies and we're all hotties and that's exactly what Billie Eilish is. So right there, kicking my feet and giggling. She is just so kiss emoji, kissy face, kiss emoji, kissy face. Scissor, scissor, oh. Are you homosexual? A what? I'm a sexture. What's that? Not for me, but for you. <laughs> All right, I think we get involved in the emojis. <laughs> Hear me out. Chapel Roan, 96 people. Wait a second. So that means 106 of you are also like Billie Eilish scissor scissors? Okay, I wasn't aware of all y'all's game, apparently. <laughs> Chapel, I'm kicking my feet and I'm giggling. It is a feminomena, feminom, feminomena. Okay, okay, don't hurt yourself. Phenomenomenon. I'm kicking my feet at the Pink Pony Club. <laughs> what have you done? Dylan O'Brien, dude, come on, love of my life. Genuinely kicking my feet. No, 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 what am I saying? I'm not kicking my feet for Dylan O'Brien. I am begging to pick me, choose me, or love me. <laughs> pick me, choose me, love me. Dylan O'Brien, especially as Styles, but especially as Void Styles, jeez. You're not my son. Simply not worthy. <laughs> That's my OG white boy of the month. Between him and Logan Lerman, like they can duke it out for a white boy of my life. <laughs> Eminem in his slim shady era, babes. I'm afraid I cannot hear you out. Because like when I think of Eminem in his slim shady era, I think of 21 Jump Street and I think of Jonah Hill looking like slim shady. And I just, I can't, it, it's not my vibe. It's not my aesthetic. Um, I'm gonna need you to log off. I'm so sorry. This real slim shady is not standing up. She is sitting down. Two people agreed with you, not this girl. <laughs> so this one had 27 likes. I got a lot of K-pop artists. This is Han from Stray Kids. I have never seen Stray Kids. I do not know what they look like. The only K-pop group that I feel confident in identifying is BTS. So I don't know what Han looks like, but let's look him up. Han from Stray Kids. Oh, he's precious. Uh, but like, 
K-pop stands don't kill me. I think he's adorable and I think he's precious, but like he looks really young. And because of that, I'm gonna have to put him at, I'm not seeing the vision. You know, not trying to get arrested or anything. How old is he? 24. Oh, born in 2000. Oh, that's so weird. Wait, I'm only two years older. That's really not that weird. <laughs> Why does that feel so weird? No, no, it, it's still at, I'm not seeing the vision. I'm sorry. He just still looks too young for me. Oh my God, that's crazy. Someone born in 2000. Damn, y'all must be looking at me right now like, okay, dinosaur. <laughs> Chris Hemsworth and Chris Evans always. And Groot, Groot, the, the plant? You had me, girl. I was with you. I was like, oh yeah, Hemsworth and Evans. We love the Chris's. And you threw in Groot? Where? What are, okay. Interesting. Um, You know, Chris Hemsworth, especially as Thor, I'm kicking my feet and I'm giggling. Thor is literally a god. He looks like one for a reason. I mean, it's beautiful. Chris Evans. Pick me, choose me, love me. That is definitely one of like my big celebrity crushes. I ain't even gonna lie. Like that white boy, I would do questionable, probably illegal things just to be in the same room as that white boy. <laughs> mm -hmm. FBI agent, if you're watching this, I'm totally not serious. Oh my God, it's not funny. <laughs> My FBI agent, like, it's Chris Evans, I do it too. <laughs> Groot though, straight up log off. It's a plant. Baby Groot or Big Groot? Oh, I hope it's Big Groot. Don't go near Baby Groot. Stay away from Baby Groot. I am keeping my eyes on you. This is another K-pop artist. I don't know how to pronounce his name and I really don't want to mess it up. I need like pronunciation. Wong Hyunjin. Wong Hyunjin. Okay, now what does he look like? <laughs> I'm intrigued. I'm seeing the vision. I wasn't aware of your game. Wong Hyunjin. <laughs> yeah, you got my attention. Not the prayer emoji, sis. Get up. Actually, same bestie. I feel that. <laughs> Ian Summerhalder. That is my boy. Damon Salvatore from Vampire Diaries. <gasps> Listen, Ian, I'm kicking my feet and I'm giggling. But if it's Damon Salvatore, please pick me, choose me, love me. I would do anything for that toxic king. And that's where my problem with toxic men started. Yeah. God, what have you done? Jenna Ortega and Sabrina Carpenter. Absolutely. Is there that music video? Okay, I am kicking my feet and giggling as they're each other, same. They're literally both so pretty and I'm actually so obsessed of how different their aesthetics are and seeing them together because it's truly, it's a work of art. Period, sis. Jensen Ackles from Supernatural. Okay, listen, 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 listen. When I started watching Supernatural, I was like, oh, I love Sam, I'm a Sam girly. And then I kept watching the show and I'm like, actually, I think everyone's a Dean girly. <laughs> Damn, do I really want Jensen to pick me, choose me, love me? Maybe. But Misha Collins, pick me, choose me, love me. <laughs> Misha's not here right now. So yeah, we'll put Jensen as pick me, choose me, love me. But if Misha were here, then we'd have to, you know. <laughs> Joe Biden. Who are the 12 people that agreed it's Joe Biden? What's that, brother? Log off, babes. He could be your great grandfather. <laughs> I really don't want to shame anyone, but there needs to be some shame. We have to have some boundaries. And this line has been crossed, I fear, several years ago. <laughs> I really mean it. Do you have daddy issues, be honest? <laughs> okay, Jung Won from, how do you say that band name? In Hypen. Oh, okay. What does he look like? I feel like I'm learning so much from you guys right now about all these K-pop stars. Oh no, he's a baby. He's so adorable. No, this is the face of a baby. I can't, I'm not seeing the vision. I'm so sorry. No, he's so precious. I like, I see the vision, but I can't see the vision for myself personally. Niall Horan, honestly, any One Direction member. Oh, wait, are we about to start ranking all the One Direction members? Okay, hold on. I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. Okay, Niall Horan. <laughs> Niall, you have my attention, especially now. Niall had the best glow up of the entire band, undeniably. Louis, I was a Louis girl. Well, to be honest, I was a Harry girl and then I was a Louis girl and then I was back to being a Harry girl. So like Louis, I am kicking my feet and I am giggling. Louis is, so now that being said, <sighs> I was an OG Harry girl and then I went back to my roots. So like, Harry, please like pick me, choose me, love me. Zayn, from day one, Zayn has been the finest in that band. So Zayn, I am also kicking my feet and giggling. Liam, rest in peace. I still cannot fathom or believe any of that. It's really surreal. Um, Liam, you have my attention. So sad, but yeah, that's my ranking for 1D members. <laughs> LMAO, I only have fictional crushes. Sis, I felt that, you know? And 55 other people also felt that. There's just something so much better about having crushes on fictional people because you can't be disappointed by fictional crushes. Actually, you can be, but I feel like there's less pressure. So I respect it. If y'all 
want to see me rank your fictional crushes again, let your girl know. Give this a thumbs up. Subscribe. Tell me in the comments. Message me on Instagram. I don't know. Do whatever. Robert Pattison. I can't get over that guy. Sis, hot take. I could never get on that guy. <laughs> and I- oh. Ladies, fellas, they thems, please don't come for me. I just, I never could find Robert Pattinson attractive. I'm not seeing the vision. I'm so sorry. Yes, I was a Jacob girly. Bella, where the hell have you been, Loka? <laughs> Ross Lynch, don't, don't talk to me about this, man, bro. Anytime I get on TikTok now, my TikTok feed decided to start showing me Ross Lynch concert videos, and they're all like thirst traps, and I'm like, you're telling me that's Austin from The Austin and Alley? You cannot be for real. I was genuinely not aware of this man's game. I He has my attention. He has my entire TikTok feed's attention too. And the reason I get more is because I'm sitting through and watching all of them. Oh. <laughs> you okay there? Sebastian Stan? Especially as Bucky Barnes. You get me. This is my ultimate pick me, choose me, love me. Like Sebastian Stan is that man for me. This category was made for Sebastian Stan. At least for me. <laughs> I'll never forget seeing Bucky Barnes in the movie theater for the first time and being like, Bucky? Who the hell is Bucky? That right there! <laughs> yeah, I have goosebumps. This spider in Charlotte's web, bro? Babe, babe, I don't want to hear you out. This ain't even a human! And three of you people agree about the spider in Charlotte's web? Log off, all of you, log off. But please make sure you're subscribed before you do. <laughs> Ooh, okay, Suga from BTS. Personally, I don't see the vision for him, but RM! Ooh, I'm kicking my feet and I'm giggling. RM is so fine, like... I feel like everyone has definitely liked the four T's. Tom Felton, Tom Holland, Tom Hiddleston, and Timothy Chalamet. Tom Cruise, girl, what? No. Tom Cruise scares me. It's true. So, um, I'm gonna pretend that's not even there. <laughs> I got so many comments saying Draco. Draco's a character, okay? We rated Draco already in fictional characters, and we already put him at, like, kicking my feet and giggling because why was Draco Malfoy so fine for no reason? So, Tom Felton, he has my attention. Tom Holland, a lot of y'all did comment Tom Holland. I got this one that says Tom Holland all the way, Hollanders assemble. I see what you did there. Avengers who? Nah, we're Hollanders. 35 people have assembled. He has my attention. And before I was like, nah, Tom Holland just looks too young. He's like too, too adorable for me, you know? And then I saw that video of him getting mad at paparazzi and like protecting and taking care of Zendaya. And I was like, Oh! Oh. <laughs> I am also assembling. <laughs> Tom Hiddleston. I'm not seeing the vision. Same with Timothy Chalamet. I'm sorry. And I think he has like some like riz, but the riz does not infect me like that. Walker Scobell. I know y'all are obsessed with him because I saw his name a lot of times. Listen, he is a child. No, he is precious. He is adorable. But I need you to log off for mentioning this name to me because I'm a grown adult. <laughs> I respect him as the new Percy Jackson. I think he did a great job, but like, that's a kid. Logan Lerman though, like OG Percy Jackson. Logan Lerman can pick me, choose me, love me, please. <laughs> Yojun from TXT. Did I say that right? Yin Jun. Yin Jun. Yin Jun. Okay, what does he look like? Oh, yeah, I see, I see. I see. You have my attention. <laughs> and the last one is <laughs> Zendaya. One of the prettiest people on the planet, no, for real. Zendaya is so beautiful. I'm kicking my feet and I'm giggling. Zendaya is that girl. Like, she's always been beautiful, always will be beautiful. We stand, we love her. Are we jealous of Tom or are we jealous of Zendaya? Trick question, we're jealous of both. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up in the comments below. I want you to tell me, out of everyone we just ranked, who is your pick me, choose me, love me, and who is your log off right now? <laughs> I need to know. If you would like to see another video of this, let me know in the comments below, and especially by giving this a thumbs up. And if you want to see another part to like ranking fictional crushes, also let me know. I am a little bit scared though, because like who came, ooh, who came out with the freaking spider from Charlotte's Web, babes? The mailbox, the spider. I 
can't. What is going on? Anyways, <laughs> shout out the day goes to Mel. Supernatural has been mentioned. You got me. Castiel, where you at though? <laughs> Anyways, I love you. Thanks for being here. I love all of you. Thank you all for being here. If you enjoyed this and you giggled and stuff and you had a good time, you should totally subscribe if you're not already subscribed because you know, we like to giggle and have a good time on this channel <laughs> and judge a little bit. I ain't gonna lie, but that's the fun of it. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys. I'm so proud of you this time for not giving really obscure crushes. Well, some. Gru, I, Eminem, some shady era, I, Joe Biden. Okay, yeah, nah, I guess y'all did better than I expected. <laughs> love ya. Bye.